What's going on out there, all you sexy ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today we're checking out this little unit, an Acer Aspire XC605. This thing's teeny tiny, but there's a whole lot going on under the lid. Here's kernel and banana for scale. Should be said that this unit was brought in to me by people who uh, were tossing it. They got a new computer. We're looking at a fourth generation i3. We only have four USB hubs at the back. We got HDMI, VGA. I will love VGA till the day that I die. If you don't use it, you don't work with old systems. Interestingly enough, we have Wi-Fi on this unit and uh something that makes my knees weak is yes we have the ability to put in a low profile video card just over here you'll see we have two spots for ram and uh slap this thing with a solid state hard drive doesn't come with solid state standard i had to replace that I had to upgrade the ram from four gigs to eight gigs so uh, let's get this thing closed on up and see what it can handle 220 watt power supply for those who care so that's where the disk drive goes guys remember when we used to have dvd drives here's how she looks like with her top on all right now we're cooking with napalm here you can see four core we got the eight gigabytes going and the kernel's a happy boy i tell you what bobby all right folks pass mark benchmark 10 we're gonna get this thing on the benchmark and we will uh, see how it does with this new ssd and eight gigabytes of ram okay direct x11 flight test going down at about geez 10 to 12 frames per second doesn't look so bad i get new computers that don't run this so quickly. Once again, it should be said it's the internal GPU that's driving this unit right now. Here we have uh, DirectX 10 going at about four pr frames per second. This is an Intel HD 4400 graphic. Okay, we got DirectX 11. That means this thing will play Fortnite going at about nine frames per second. All right, it can actually handle DirectX 12, of course, going at about uh, six frames per second. Penalize just a few points. This thing is definitely pretty sketchy i mean we're going to be able to play grand theft auto but how well all right so we got a score of 1900 that puts us about the same place as the think center m75q1 a i5 fourth generation system with eight gigs of ram and the barracuda junior that had a, a second generation uh, i3 so not so bad let's see how it does on some actual games now all right, we got Fortnite locked in. We are playing uh, at about 22 frames per second. Bus looks pretty sketchy. We're falling at about 20 frames per second. Pretty sure we're in performance mode. Man, I love to get up on people and just start swinging. It's always the wrong thing to do, though. Always. Did they go? Don't run. Did they actually run from me? All I have is a pick. All right, anyways, we're getting about 50 frames per second. It seems to be taking a little bit of time for some of this stuff to buffer. Ah, oh, we're the adversary. Don't run. Uh-oh, I bought it. So yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. So we have a confirmed Grand Theft Auto will play relatively smoothly, but man, it ain't really playing it at this side, is it? So definitely fourth generation is going to be the minimum that you want if you're going to be doing any of these gaming. All right, folks, next up, let's throw a uh, bottom of the line video card at 1030 at this unit and see how much it pumps it up. Check out that full screen action. OK, so we're rocking out here at about 30 frames per second. It's not great, but at least we got the full screen. Lots to be said about that good old fashioned fun. Jeez, how long has this been game out for? It feels like a decade now. Grand Theft Auto 5's initial release date is September 17th, 2013. Yep, my cat is younger than this game. All right, we're hanging out in the sky at about 100 frames per second. It's a little bit glitchy. The bus is looking pretty good. And in our descent, I'm going down a little bit glitchy and holding about 90 frames per second. So that's pretty good. There's a lot to be said about that. Ooh, what's this shiny thing over here? So looking out over the land, you can tell not ultra powerful, but uh, it'll somewhat get you by. If you're getting this for a gaming system, I definitely recommend you get an i5, at least fourth generation. And um, yeah, get uh, get a good video card. Make sure you got at least eight gigs of RAM and you might actually be able to do something with this. I see this system hitting the secondary market quite a bit. It's great for office stuff. Definitely good for office stuff, but I'm not sure about gaming, of course. Anyways, Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nap from Nav's Tech Bits. Have a good one and uh, take care of each other's, will you?